Fur coats from 300,000 years ago, earliest evidence of bare skin use. Fur coats aren't just a product of the modern industrial period, but now are seen to have a tradition stretching back some 300,000 years ago, albeit in a different setting altogether. People have been using bear skins as evidenced from a bear cave at the old Paleolithic site in Skoningen, Lower Saxony, Germany. No other documentation stretching back this far has been found anywhere in the world before. This site has previously yielded wooden hunting weapons along with the Skoningen mammalian skeletal assemblage. Early adaptation, survival of the warmest, the find opens up a new perspective, says University of Tübingen professor Nicholas Kennard, head of the Skoningen Research Project. Animals were not only used for food, but their pelts were also essential for survival in the cold. The use of bearskins is likely a key adaptation of early humans to the climate in the north. The study, published in the Journal of Human Evolution, studied cut marks on the hand and foot bones of cave bears. The lower Paleolithic sites here have played a crucial role in the discussions around the origins of specialized hunting of large mammals as evidenced by wooden hunting weapons like throwing spears, a thrusting lance, and throwing sticks. In addition to the aforementioned skeletal assemblage, clear indications of the exploitation of large herbivores can be gauged. As per a press release by University of Tübingen, these were for the purposes of meat, marrow, bones for tool production, and finally, skins. Evidence of bear skinning across the Paleolithic. Another researcher and lead author Ivo Verhagen explained that the cut marks on bones are an indicator of utilization of meat. However, since there is literally no meat to be gained on the hand and foot bones, such fine and precise cuts can be attributed to the careful removal of fur. This kind of skinning of bare bones has only been found in Boxgrove, United Kingdom, and Bilzingsleben. Interestingly, the Eurasian Lower Paleolithic record shows no evidence for the exploitation of bear meat, reports Heritage Daily. Only Middle Paleolithic sites, like Bayach St. Vost in France, along with Tabak in Germany, have displayed evidence for exploiting both skin and meat from bear carcasses. This is one of the earliest examples in human history of active adaptation of early peoples to the climate in the north. What's worth noting also is that bear skins must be promptly removed after the death of the animal, otherwise the hair and fur will be rendered unusable. Thus, the animals could not have been dead for too long at the point of skinning. The winter fur of a bear consists both of long top hair that forms an airy protective layer and short, thick hair that insulates particularly well. Bears, including the extinct cave bears, needed a strongly insulating fur for hibernation. These newly discovered cuts are an indication that people in Northern Europe were able to survive about 300,000 years ago in winter thanks to warm bear skins. Further explains Verhagen. Just last year, a study from Morocco showed that even in a relatively warm climate, evidence of fur use and dozens of other tools for smoothing and polishing hides were found to produce fur. When the Homo sapiens of North Africa traveled to populate the corners of the globe, it appears that they likely did this having adapted to wearing animal skins and furs. The Paleolithic sites in Skoningen and the ensuing investigation are a product of a collaboration between the University of Tübingen and the Senckenberg Society for Natural Research. This long-term collaboration has been with the Lower Saxony State Office for the Preservation of Monuments. The project has been Lower Saxony Ministry of Science and Culture in Hanover.